Hey guys, IceFace here, and today we're playing Valor Legends once again. So in today's video, guys, we've got another hero sort of spotlight, and we're going to be doing it on the one and only Dark Angel Celia. So I'll be honest, guys, she is, in fact, my favourite hero. Um, I love her. She's super, super good. So her skills, if you haven't seen them already, is Void Inferno. And it's going to be increase the damage to 960% of attack and increase the number of dispel buffs to 4. As you can see, it throws the spear at 2 enemies, dealing 960% of attack damage and dispelling 2 buffs. Then we've got the Void Magic Ball. Celia throws the Light Ball at the invincible enemy in priority. Dispels that enemy's invincible buff and deals... 300, so this is up to 560% of attack. Has a 100% chance to stun the enemy for 3 seconds. We're increasing stats by 30% attack and 25% HP. Then of course we've got souls, which with every energy skill cast, her attack is increased by up to 10%. And attack speed is increased by up to 10%, stacking up to 5 stacks for 10 seconds. So she can go crazy. Super, super crazy. As you can see, this is the equipment I've got on her. I have prioritized her. She was my first shadow hero that I have awakened to a decent level. And she has carried me through a lot of hard campaign and endless trial missions. Currently, I have upper hand rune. These are some random attributes. As you can see, random attribute. They truly are random. Uh, this upper hand room will not be staying on her. I plan to get another one and upgrade it and hopefully get some better stats. I'm going to use the upper hand room for PvP. For PvE, I will use a Decite rune. And then we have a Berserker. We've actually, it's, it's pretty good stats. I mean, the crit's nice. The damage reduction and bonus rage received is nice. HP received increase is okay. Um, it's going to give her a bit more survivability. But that's what I run on her. Rune wise, don't worry about the bonus attributes so much. The exclusive weapon, I currently have it at 20. I'm debating whether to invest to 30 or not. Um, we will decide that as we go. It, I don't think it's the investment for the near future, but we might do. I, I don't know. She's at this tier at the minute because I want to get more shadows and lights up before I take them to five so I'll probably try go for another Salia so I have two of them and of course the exclusive weapon skill at 20 is giving 16% HP 9% attack and 7.5% armor pierce <clears throat> at level 20 cursed pike you're gonna unlock crit damage is increased to 20% and at level 30 every time Salia uses the soul skill add two stacks so it's quite nice in terms of how we set Celia up in our teams, there's a couple different synergies you can do. So I tend to like this synergy, where Olivia is going to be granting Celia bonus rage. And of course, we've got the heal. This is going to make her skills cast a lot quicker. And to be honest, guys, this does help me get a lot further in the campaign. So we're going to go ahead and play this. So Celia is like nine times out of ten the biggest damage dealer alongside Ramiel it's predominantly them two as you can see this is the skill going off she's throwing the balls she did get one shot there as you can see but we're going to lose this one because it's a little bit difficult for us right now there will be a way to organize to beat that one but we're not focusing too quickly on it so we're going to go ahead and do another endless trial just to show you guys her in action so this time this is Celia without without the bonus and we're going to put her at the back we're going to put our support onto Terence and we're going to go ahead and send so, so I do switch it up between Ramio and Terence on that one but I thought I'd show some videos of the actual fights guys so you can actually see some of these heroes that I'm showcasing in action now her skill would already be going off if she was next to an Olivia but she is not so we've got the Uchi down Celia's buffs going off as you can see they did nuke out our assassins pretty quickly when the bear's buff goes off it's going to kill him yeah 
But if we just look at the damage dealt, as you can see, Celia is excelling in damage compared to our other heroes. Obviously, it's a bit of an unfair test because she's got the best equipment and the best runes on, but nevertheless, she is an amazing hero. If I had to give you guys a little guide in who to invest in the Lights and Shadows, you definitely want to get Ramiel and you definitely want to get Celia. Celia, she hits the GOAT status. Um, in Arena, this is how I set up with Celia. When I get my Olivia up, I will be putting Olivia in for Margaret. I will be keeping Terence for the minute until I get Gar, most likely. And then I will run the two Assassins and Lionel until I get Surveyor. And then I will run Olivia, Surveyor, Ramiel and Lionel. I'll get rid of the double Assassin and I'll put Olivia at the back because she can take a hit. But Yep, so this is how I line up. I try to keep her out of the direct line of fire and they should jump on the Margaret before they jump on the Celia. And of course, Terence is taking the aggro from the front liners. Another little one in the advanced arena. We probably just got smashed. Yeah. Some pretty strong people in our group. If we look at the formations, I run her in the second formation next to Olivia. I do sometimes go for this, but I got the Bolly at the back who's going to take the aggro of the assassins to keep them off our frontliners. And that does quite work quite well. And that's how we set her up, guys. So. Celia, if I had to rate her out of 10, guys, she's definitely a 10 out of 10. Um, if you, if I was doing a tier list, she would be S++++. Totally amazing hero. I recommend everyone picking up this ranger. It's one of the heroes that you will never regret doing. There is a few that you sometimes regret. But Celia is good in all stages of the game and in every single different situation. Even in Abyss, she's very, very good. If I show you my current rankings in Abyss. So this is day two, I believe. or my, Yeah, this is day two. As you can see by the battle bonus. And we are currently ranked one. If we look at, I think we click. Uh, oh, yeah, we go to the records. So if we come here, we can see this is the, what I ran on day one and day two. I was using someone else's Celia who is the four star. Obviously, it's nearly 30 levels higher but mine out damaged it by a huge amount a staggering amount and i've used her the whole time like you've you see most teams using a cellular guys and there is a reason for that as you can see using two there is a very very good reason for it she is what you'd call op a very very solid hero and i recommend all of you getting her and just as a little side note at the end here, guys, if you want to see anything else in these videos about heroes, other than the rune choices, the equipments, um, the, the special exclusive weapons, how I use them for PvP and PvE, do let me know. The arena setups, like, do let me know if there's anything you want to know more specific about a hero. So that being said, guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Do smash the like button if you have. Subscribe to the channel. We are growing quite nicely. And let's keep it going. Turn on the notification bell to never miss any of our uploads. And that being said, I'll see you all next time.